So what we're going to do today is we're going to clean the Recaros. So I'm going to show you the materials I use, how to remove the seat, and how to do the actual clean. What you'll need is an empty spray bottle, this laundry detergent named Woolite. Now people on the forum say that they use this and they get good results, so we'll use this today. You're going to need a, a bucket and you're going to fill it with warm water. Two rags, one to scrub the seat and then the other one to get all the soap and water off. Alright, so let's come on over to the driver's side first. As you can see the car is in, still in winter mode. It's not, get, not going anywhere. So I got to remove these harnesses first, so I'm going to do that. So there are four bolts you need to remove. One down here, other one on the other side, and if we go over to the back, in the back there's gonna be one over there, that one all the way back over there. Now you want to carefully pull out your seat. Just make sure the rails don't hit anything, like the paint of the car, or anything like that. Also, if you have any harnesses like this, you gotta unplug those. You won't get too far without doing that. So the driver's side's out. Do the same thing with the passenger side. Alright, so seats are out. Now it's a great time to vacuum your car, get rid of all this junk, and should be ready to clean the seats. Also, some of you are probably wondering why I have no shift knob. I have a shift knob coming in the mail. Should be coming next week, sometime next week. I haven't driven the car since early December anyways. So now if you're working on the floor like this, you might want to cover it up with a blanket. So for me, I have this SpongeBob blanket. Another thing I should mention is that you should get a shop vac like this so you can vacuum the small pieces of loose dirt or whatever grimes on top. And yes, I know these seats aren't in the best condition. There are some rips. Uh, the foam is a little damaged, but got it for a good price, so I can't really complain, right? Okay, now I just got a damp cloth and just wet the seat a little bit. Nothing too crazy. <clears throat> now get your solution of wool light and spray the seat. And you'll want to just work it in, just lather it. Just work at one section at a time. Get your wet rag and wipe it off. Now you can see in the rag it's picking up some dirt.
You want to get all that butt sweat off, right? There's little poop particles floating around on your seat. Get that off. Gotta remove all those sweaty, sweaty head stains. Sweaty days after the gym. Alright, so the driver's seat is done. It's soaked. It needs to dry up. So now you just do the same thing with the passenger side. Now look at this. Look at all that butt juice. That's nasty. Let's dump that out and get a clean bucket. Oh, that's nasty. Woo. Got a fresh bucket. Now let's start the passenger seat. So some of you are probably wondering what's next for the RSX, what plans I have. I haven't driven in a month. That's because I have no headlights right now. I sold my old set to some person in Cali and I'm having Precision Works. John at Precision Works, he's making me a new set. So that should be coming hopefully this week or probably next week. And then I have this big box behind the camera. That's gonna be for another video. That's a secret, not many people know about that. Um, I also have something upstairs in my room waiting to be put on. But that's gonna be another video. That's a secret. It's not, it's not too crazy, but to me, it's big. This spring, early March, I'm gonna get my my front Mugen bumper and my rear bumper repainted by Lidl's Customs. Because the front bumper has a bunch of rock chips. It's not in the best condition. So, we'll see. See how it all turns out. It should be good. It's not broken. It runs, but I haven't driven in a while. Now, for best results, since this is the passenger seat, you gotta pretend this is like someone's back. You're giving them a back massage. Work at it like that. Do some of these. You can put your elbow into it too. Trust me, it's worth it. See, look, even my passengers have dirty buttholes. Ew. All that butt juice. So the seats are done, they're clean, they're just soaked right now. I just have to wait a couple days, maybe two or three days. I can't leave them outside because it's pretty cold. So I'm just going to let them just dry in my computer room and I'll get back to you with the finished results. Alright, so a little update. I'm not sure if this is in focus or not because it's on manual focus, but the seats are clean now. They're dry, but it's, it's been three days, so they're dry. But it's way too cold outside in New York to put them on. Probably have to put on a different day, but look. Back then there was a black spot here from, from the seat when I used to rock one. It looks pretty good now. Seats look brighter. A brighter red. No more black spots, so it looks pretty good.